chapter 3, Mishnah 4. The Mishnah describes what the bitter water does to Asota, who is indeed guilty of adultery. If she is guilty, she does not have a chance to finish drinking before her face turns pale, her eyes bulge, and she becomes full of veins. When the Kohanim see this happening, they say, Take her out! Take her out! So she does not make the courtyard tame. However, not every Sota dies right away. If she has merit, it delays her death. There is merit that could day that could th there is merit that can delay her death for one year. There is merit that could delay it for two years, and there is merit that could delay it for three years. Atana draws a lesson from the fact that mer that merit could delay a sota's death. Because of this, Ben Azai says that a man is obligated to teach his daughter Torah, so that if she becomes a sota and does not die when she drinks the water. She will understand that merit delayed her death, and she will not mistakenly claim that the water is powerless. An opposing view. Rabbi Eliezer says, anyone who teaches his daughter Torah is as if he taught her physical intimacy. Rabbi Yeshua says, a woman prefers a kav of food and intimacy to nine kavs of food and abstinence. The Mishnah cites another teaching by Rabbi Yeshua. He used to say, a foolish pietist, i.e. a person who takes piety to foolish extremes, for example, he does not save a drowning woman for fear that he will gaze at her, a cunning evildoer, i.e. a person who deceives people without lying, for example, he presents his side of a case to a judge before the other party arrives, a saintly woman, i.e. a woman who hides sinful behavior under a pretense of saintliness, for example, she secretly uses witchcraft to prevent a woman from giving birth and then releases the woman from her severe pain by lifting the spell, but she claims that it was her prayers that spared the victim. And the blows of the saintly, i.e. one who causes himself, causes himself to be injured in order to display saintliness. For example, he pretends to walk with his eyes closed to avoid looking at women and he bangs into walls. All of these people are destroyers of the world because they trick people into thinking that they are pious, when in fact they are not.